Hey y'all. I know y'all like, child, honey, who, who is this? It's Tiana, child. It's me. It's me. It's me, y'all. I'm just comfortable. Okay, so today we're in the kitchen cooking. Today is one of those nice and light and easy and simple lazy days. Mm -hmm. It's been raining all day here and I wanted something good to eat, something different. And so um, potato soup was sounding really, really good. So that's what I'm making. I'm over here making some potato soup and uh, yeah, may do some garlic bread with it or just potato soup by itself. But yeah, so I added a little twist to the potato soup. So I'm going to be doing um, potato soup with some ham, some bacon pieces, and some peas and carrots in it. I think you hardly ever see peas and carrots in the potato soup. So I decided to put the peas and carrots in there. You know, throw a little vegetable off up in there. So yeah. So if y'all like potato soup, y'all come on and... You know, stick on in here, get comfortable, and watch me put together this potato soup. All right? So, welcome to my channel. If you're new, I'm happy to have you. Y'all ring that doorbell, hit the thumbs up, the like button, and let's get into this video. All righty. So, here I have my potatoes boiling. I've diced them up kind of on the medium side. And I've diced up 10 potatoes. You just do however many potatoes that you want to do. And I added my peas and carrots right on in here with the potatoes that way they be cooking at the same time. You know, the potatoes getting tender right along with the the peas and carrots will be getting tender right along with the potatoes. And this is a bag of frozen peas and carrots, and I added the whole bag to it. So in here I added some chicken bouillon seasoning and some salt. So I seasoned up the water that that, that way the potatoes and the peas and carrots can be getting a little bit of flavor down in them. Okay, so we're gonna boil those until they fork tender. Okay, so then here I have some ham, some, uh, and I diced it up and I cut some onion up with it. And so we're gonna be browning this ham off whenever the potatoes get ready. So whenever it's time to move on to that step, I'll be back, y'all, but this is going to be delicious. All right, so we're going to check these potatoes and see if they're ready. Okay. I was able to poke it. But with my, oh, yeah. Let me check another one. I know that one's going to be tender. I just want to... Make sure all of them is ready. I know that's going to be done. Okay, so the potatoes is ready. You want them fork tender, but don't cook them till they mushed because you still got to do a little bit more cooking to them where they're going to be still in the pot going a little bit more when we get the whole soup together so yeah let's drain this here all right so we're gonna get this here drained do not rinse it just drain it and like i said you do as many potatoes you want to do that's going to be good, y'all. Okay, so we're going to let those go drain all the way. All right, y'all. So here I have some butter. Melted by half a stick or close to a stick. Try this some margarine, right? Okay. So that's why I can't tell you how much. But put you some butter. And I got me some flour. And I'm going to make a little roux to go with this. Okay. And we're going to cook our roux in this butter. And the butter is probably about a stick if you add up the butter. But this butter is going to give it that nice flavor, buttery flavor. So we're going to cook that flour here in this butter. Okay. 
So what I'm doing is add a little bit more. What I'm doing is cooking that flour taste out. Okay. You ain't trying to blunt brown the flour or nothing. I had a lot of butter now. A little bit more and I'm, I'll be done. Where well, I need to be. Okay. That's good right there. All right. So now while that is doing cooking, I'm just going to add my onion and my uh, ham to this. fry. So while it's frying, we're going to go ahead and throw us a little seasonings in there. Onion powder, garlic powder, black pepper. You can add celery to it, but instead of the celery, I'm adding celery salt. Y'all know how I like to do. I add my celery salt. That's going to give it that celery flavor. Okay. And little chicken bouillon and this is my mixture of seasonings here that I'm adding in there. Mm -hmm. Seasoning, just seasoning this here on up. And then to that, I'm going to add about a teaspoon of garlic. I'm going to add a little bit more. So then, so I'm going to cook this up a little bit. All that go together. And we're just cooking the flour and everything together. All at once. Like that right there. So the onions sweat down a little bit. Look, that's what it's looking like. That flour got all that butter up in them. We got that garlic in there. This smelling good already. So it looked bulky like this. It ain't that it's all that flour. It's all the meat that's mixed in with the flour. Okay. So I'm going to let that cook a little bit more. So the meat, I mean the roux, is about, it's pretty much ready, but I'm over here making some dinner rolls to go with, making some croissant rolls, that's what we'll have that to go with the soup. I was trying to decide what I wanted to make with it, but some croissant rolls would be perfect, so that's what I'm making to go with them. Yes, it's gonna be good. Do these rolls in that soup? Uh uh uh. Yes, ma'am. So I'm rolling these here up real quick. 
I'm about to get them on in the oven and let these two cook while I finish up the broth. I mean the soup. Okay. Well, there you go. We got our rolls ready. We're gonna put those in the oven. All right. So now the soup is ready. We don't cook down a lot. We cook down a lot, and the onions is cooked. The the meat, the um ham is fried a little bit. So now I'm going to take some regular milk and evaporated milk and dump that in. Milk. Put some more regular milk. If you're going to make this, make sure you have enough milk on hand because you're going to need quite a bit of milk. Gonna need way more milk. So I'm gonna add up some more milk. And I got another can of evaporated milk that I'm gonna be adding in here. But before I add more milk, I wanna go ahead on and get I got a can of uh cheddar soup. I'm gonna add to this. to my spatula. I don't know what happened to it. So I'm going to add this here. to add a can of cream of chicken soup.
mix that all together. Mix it in real good, girl. And get some oat milk. the can of evaporated milk in there. Evaporated milk. Yeah. Alright, so now I'm going to get some I want to add a little cream cheese in this. So I got a block of cream cheese, but I'm going to add just a little bit of it. I don't know, I just, just want some because I know it's going to bring another layer of flavor, but a little deepness, richness, goodness, all that done. All the misses. Let me get this open. Okay, so I'm adding some cream cheese. I put a, I put about half. That was about two ounces of cream cheese. Maybe four. I don't know. Anyway, we, we got us some in there. Make a nice, rich, creamy, savory soup. Okay, hold on. Let me get my cheese. Okay, so you can shred your cheese. I didn't. I got me some cheddar cheese. And this here is some mild cheddar cheese. We're gonna drop that in there and get it all melted. That was like half of half of a block, like a quarter of a block. Yeah, quarter of a block of cheese. And we're going to let all this here milk and come together nicely. So I'm going to do this on a low because I don't want it to boil. I'm just going to let this here melt down nicely, nice and slow. Okay, so now we're going to add a few more things to that. Okay. All right, so who don't want a bacon flavor to their potato soup? So I got some bacon right here. You can cook some real bacon, but baby, this is as real as it's going to get for me, okay? So we're going to put us some real bacon bits in now. Add as much as you want in yours. And that flavor going to get distributed throughout the soup, baby. And it's gonna be good. So I'm gonna get this here a taste. See, um, if I wanna add any more seasonings, pepper, or whatever. Mmm, that's nice. 
Okay, so I do want to add more pepper. And that garlic keeps flavor. Ooh, I taste it. That's gonna be good on those potatoes. Ooh, yes. I'm gonna add a little bit more of my seasoned blend. Mix all that in. Season it to your own taste. I'm gonna taste that again. See if I want a little bit more kick. Mm. It's just getting better and better. I'm gonna add just a little bit of salt. And I wanna add a little sprinkle of cayenne pepper, pepper just to give it just a little kick. Let me stir that and taste it again. It's got to be on point, y'all. Got to be. Mm mm mm. Mm mm mm. Ooh, y'all wait till them potatoes get up in here and all this right here is just coat those potatoes. Ooh, child, honey, thank you. I'm gonna taste that again. Mm, oh yeah, that flavor coming through. A little bit more celery salt. A little bit more cayenne pepper. Okay. I don't want it spicy. I just want it to have that little kick. It's all coming together nicely. Look at that cheese just melting all through them. See the bacon? Mm, mm, mm. Got to be more careful, girl. Mm, mm, mm. Oh, yeah. I'm going to put some more bacon in there. I'm going to just put that whole little bag up in there. Why not? That was a 2.5 ounce. Ooh, that kick done came in. Ooh, that kick of cayenne pepper is the baby. Oh, yeah. Now we rolling that flavor time. Oh, yes. This going to be so good. I can't wait to dip my bread in this. Ooh. Ah. Talking about something that make you feel at home, child. This going to make you feel at home. Mm, mm, mm. It's not too thick. It's not too thin. In my opinion, it's just right. Just right. I'm going to get y'all down in there so y'all can see. Look at that down. Mm -hmm. Look at that. Oh. Yes, baby. That's going to be delicious. My husband going to be proud to eat this here. When I tell y'all this here is on point, I topped it off with a little taste of complete seasoning, y'all. Mm, mm, mm. 
when I tell y'all this right here is on point, like baby, like on point, like the flavor, oh my goodness. <laughs> Can't wait for my husband to taste this. So the cheese and the, let's see, is that melted all the way? Look, look at the little chunks of ham through the. Mm, mm, mm. Oh yeah, it's got a little weight to it. Look at that. Look at that. Oh yeah. Now, if it gets a little too thick for you, I don't think I do add some more milk to it. The next day, of course. Oh, yeah, there, go. there we go. We still got some cheese to melt. That's some cheese there. Mm, mm, mm. So, the next day, if it's too um, loose for you, just add your little milk to it. Put the end it back out. Mm, mm, mm. But this right here. Mm. See how I got it just simmering and not boiling? It ain't even, it ain't got no bubbles around the edges or nothing. You just want it to slightly just all come together nicely, slowly. Taste that again. Mm, mm, mm. You need a taste. Child, did I forget burns? Nope. that off it's done so now the only thing you want to do is take your peas and carrots and potatoes and just don't like the oh baby 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 time out finna be good Don't over season your potatoes because you can season, like I seasoned them a little bit while they were boiling, but don't over season them because if you want to season your soup real good, that's just going to soak up all that flavor. That's the seasonings. You know, these potatoes going to steal the flavor. So look at that. Yes, ma'am. Now we got a nice chunky. Chunky. Chunky, chunky, chunky. Potato soup. Look at that. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Oh, that's going to be good. Uh, the best potato soup my husband going to ever eat. Yes, yes, yes. Look at that. Mm, 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 mm. All righty, y'all. So this is it for the potato soup. And don't forget, if you got you some complete seasoning to top it off with your complete seasoning, ooh. I'm telling you, you're going to thank me later. Okay? But until the next one, this your girl, Tiana. Y'all be blessed. And I am out, y'all.
Look at that. Ooh. Mm-mm-mm. That's going to be good. Dip that bread in there. Ooh, child. 